Hey, welcome to another video. In this episode, we're going to look into developing some Foma Pan R film, which is a black and white positive slide. I have shot two rolls uh, with landscapes, portraits, indoors, outdoors, and also studio shots of models. I am an enthusiast and by no means a professional, but I would like to show and share with you the process and some results that I've achieved with this film. So, to start off with, we need the film. We need a developing tank. Um, to open a film, I'm using a bottle opener, which is sufficient. Um, some mixing jugs, uh, the chemicals itself, uh, a pair of scissors to cut the film off the roll, and all will be loaded in a lightproof bag. On top of this, we also need a smaller measuring jug for finer measurements, and a watch to take the time with. To start off with, I'm going to load the film into the developing tank. First of all, I need to collect the tank, make sure the holder is the correct width, place the scissors in, place the film, and also the opener. With 35mm, sometimes it's a little bit tricky to cut the end of the roll of film, but take your time. Once the film is loaded, now we can prepare the chemicals for each stage of the processing. As you open the box, you'll find five bottles of chemicals. This processing is actually four stages. One bottle for developer, two bottles for bleaching, one cleaning and one fixing. Starting off with the developer, uh, this comes in one single bottle. We need 30 milliliters of the developer mixed with 300 milliliters of water. For the second chemical, uh, it's the bleaching bath, which comes in two separate bottles, labeled B1 and B2. We need 30 milliliters of each, followed by 300 milliliters of water. Next up is the cleaning bath. This is a single bottle and we need 30 milliliters plus 300 milliliters of water. Finally, we're going to mix the fixing bath. This is a larger bottle and we'll need 60 milliliters of the fix followed by 300 milliliters of water. With the chemicals prepared, we are now ready to start developing. For the first stage of development, we need to use the developer and develop for 12 minutes. I'd recommend agitating for the first 30 seconds and then 10 seconds every minute after. In the last minute of development, I typically give the last 30 seconds of full agitation. Right, now the first development's over. Now to rinse the film in the tank for a couple of minutes. I would recommend changing the water over a few times during this process. Right, the second step of the process is to bleach the film. Uh, set the clock for eight minutes and ready to go. Ah, it's getting a bit messy, a bit of a loose lid. Be careful, but carry on. For the bleaching bath, I've agitated the tank for 30 seconds in the first minute, 10 seconds every minute after, and then the last 30 seconds. With the bleaching done, now rinse for two minutes with water and make sure you change a couple of times just to get rid of the bleach as much as possible. This is the stage where Fomapan R is slightly different from the conventional black and white film developing. We have to carefully remove the film and expose it to UV light again. The film looks a bit yellow when we remove it from the tank, but now we have to expose it for 30 seconds on each side. After exposing the film to daylight again, it's changed colour slightly. Now, with the film, carefully put it back on the spool. This seemed quite 
tricky in the beginning as the film is still wet. Once the film is now back in, we're ready for the second development. Using the developer from the first development for the second time, agitate the film for 30 seconds the first minute and then 10 seconds thereafter. And not forgetting a full 30 second agitation for the last 30 seconds. The development time for this stage is slightly shorter than the first one, at only 5 minutes. Once again, a 2 minute water rinse is needed thoroughly to remove any chemicals. The final chemical bath is to fix the film for 4 minutes. Again, agitate 30 seconds for the first minute, 10 seconds every minute after, and then 30 seconds for the last 30 seconds. Okay, all set and done. Now is to rinse the film for a whole 10 minutes thoroughly to remove any chemicals left over. This is the moment I've been waiting for after this long development process. And slowly removing the film, it looks pretty good. The black and white slides are quite poppy and contrasty too. Overall, the processing of this film has been quite smooth. And I'd like to experiment further with different settings and different lighting conditions. In the meantime, here's some of my results which I've scanned and gives an idea of the results you would expect from this film. Maybe it's a type of film that you would like to shoot for yourself. Good luck and have fun! If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please subscribe and like, click the notification bell and see you next time.